What's up YouTube, John here with another video. Today I will be demonstrating the Philips Carina 1200. This is part of Philips and Seiko's uh, super automatic espresso machines. And I'll just be going over some of the functions of this machine and from where I bought it from and how much. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. So right off the bat, when you turn on the machine, it cycles and it um, basically does a, a rinse to uh, clean out any previous brews it has done just so that you can get the freshest coffee possible and you see the lights are cycling this means it's warming up and when it's done warming up it'll be solid here you have something called aqua clean and this um, machine is compatible with the aqua clean filters now this is good for up to 5,000 cups without having to descale it's sort of deceptive because that filter is not good up to 5,000 cups. That filter is maybe good up to like 500 cups approximately. But I'll let you guys know down the line how long it lasts. Um, but basically it soften, softens up um, the water from your tap if you're using tap. Personally, I'm not using tap. I'm using purified water because the water in my area is very hard. So And it does not taste good by any means. So I do use clean water, but as an extra precaution and extra measure, I do use the filter in addition to purified water. Um, now, you can see I have four options to choose from, espresso, coffee, hot water, and steam. Um, espresso, you have a times one or times two. Whoops, I accidentally chose hot water. And basically, this um, will either brew one or two cups. Here you have the intensity. Um, basically light, medium, or dark, and the measurement, uh, small, medium, large. Um, now let's say I want to do two espressos at the same time, I just choose times two and I can change the intensity and the amount in the cup that's being brewed. And basically what I'll do is, if you look down here, this adjusts according to the cup size that you're using. There are two spouts. I can put one cup here and one cup on the other side and brew two espressos right at the same time. And it will appear, uh, is the bean hopper, and it will um, automatically take or grind more beans according to your choice um, that you choose here. Uh, now there's a coffee option and the same thing one cup or two cups you have steam because you have a frother that's right here and you can you have the choice of uh, choosing uh, hot water um, now the machine will uh, let you know if you need to descale the machine and then here are some warnings uh, like this is to uh, dump the coffee tray the coffee dump tray this is this means you need more water and this means maybe there's like a door open or something let's see if I can well the water thing is in the water containers in the way. Oops, sorry guys, my hand got in the way. Let me pull out the water container. So this is the water reservoir. I think it holds about 60 ounces, which is really nice. And over here you have a door where you can access the mechanism. Once a week you pull that out and you just rinse it under warm water and let it dry. So as you can see here, this light is on because this door is open. If I close the door, it closes. Now you see there's no water because I pulled out the reservoir. So let me put the reservoir back. And there we go. Okay, and aqua clean. So this this is blue, meaning uh, meaning that the filter is accepted and the filter is good to go. When it turns red or orange, uh, that means it's time to replace the filter. Um, now this piece right here, this is the frother. This comes off. Oops, sorry, I accidentally banged against the uh, tray here. And this is washable. You can dishwash it as well, and it just comes apart easily, just like that. This top part is silicon, which is nice right and uh, let me put this on the side you have your drip tray here this little red tab will pop up uh, when the drip tray is full okay so basically warning you to dump the uh, contents of the drip tray let me pull this out so you can see I do have quite a bit of water in there right it's because every single time you turn on and off the machine it cycles now you can see some coffee down here this is the disposal of the coffee and, and they're uh... they're pucks basically so it basically forms a puck and brews it that way just like a semi-automatic um, espresso machine where you have to manually uh... fill the puck with coffee and tamper it and stuff like that all right, so uh, I'm just going to make a shot of espresso just to show you how well it makes uh, coffee. Um, so up here, actually one more thing. So you do have a couple more options. You can put a cup up here to keep your cup warm if you would like. Uh, this is if you're going to use 
this little uh, tray right here. So if you're going to use pre-ground coffee, and over here you have your beans, um, and over here you have the adjustment for the grinder. I have it set to the lowest setting, which is one. Uh, I did make seven cups before I finally got the perfect cup. So this, they say ultimately you need to make at least five cups before the machine will learn uh, the perfect amount of uh, coffee that is needed uh, per cup. Now for this, um, the pre-ground coffee tray or whatever one will call it, there's a special uh, spoon for it which is the exact measurement. So you don't want to use anything else but this because this will be the exact measurement for this. Um, now to use this hopper right here, let's call it a hopper, whatever, uh, you, you just press this button until you get that bottom symbol down there which is for pre-ground coffee. Right, so I'm going to choose espresso, I have my intensity set to medium and I want a small amount so it'll make about an ounce right because this cup down here sorry guys it's a little loud right so this uh, cup down here is two ounces so it, it makes about an ounce approximately All right let me drop let me spill this I don't want any water. There we go. There we go, and that's it. So you can see it has a really good, nice crema. Um, it is rising. You can see the different layers in the coffee itself. See, it's getting darker as the uh, foam rises and the uh, coffee itself uh, rises. Rises. Um, it tastes really good. Uh, I do like it a lot. You can see the crema is nice and clean. Right, so this is the Philips 1200. Um, there is the 2200, which is basically identical to this machine, but it has some chrome bezels and it's an extra 50 bucks. So this machine is sold on, uh, exclusively sold on Seattle Coffee Gear, I believe that's the website. I'll post the link down below. And uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos coming up. I'll, I'll demonstrate how the coffee brews and hot water and and uh, we'll, we'll froth some milk and make some drinks. Alright guys.